Hello YouTube peoples, this is Fusion Designs and today I'll be showing you how to make a YouTube channel background. This is part 3 of the series I'm doing. If you haven't seen part 1 or 2 there will be links in the description. So for the people who have followed my course open up your GIMP program and go to the file that you've made in part 2. Then go to your lasso tool as some people call it I call it the free select tool. Then select background. Then down the bottom left of your layers tab, click on the white page and click oak to make a new layer. Then start making an outline of whatever shape you'd like. I'm going to give an example now. So, I'm going to make sure I get it as exact as I can. And, yeah. So, yeah. I don't have much to say right now. Okay, once you've made your shape, um, connect to both ends to make a selection. Then make sure you're on your new layer. Then select whatever colour you'd like. I'm going to use blue for the outline. And go to blend and drag down. Then go to select, shrink by 2. Then I'm going to put on white. Go to blend tool. And click near the top and start dragging down. And on your keypad hold down control this will make sure it's straight so that the blend comes out nice and straight oops I done it the wrong way around I'm going to pull upwards for this one yeah that's better okay so once you've that done you can go select none then make a new layer again and use the lasso tool again and zoom in um, a bit so then get the lasso tool and start doing an outline. You'll see what I'm doing once I'm done, it'll make sense to you. And there. So then fill this in with white. Now duplicate this layer four times. Well, duplicate it three times so you'll have four layers. Then select a none. Then go to the move tool and pull these white boxes above each other. And repeat this process until used up all the boxes. And there you go. So now, go to the top duplicated layer you've made, right click and merge down. Continue this process till all the white boxes are on one layer. Now go to alpha to selection on that layer. Get out the nice colour you used on the outline again and then fill it in. Then go to select shrink by two and click the delete button. Then click on layer one and click delete it again. Then select none. Now go to merge down the layers you've just created onto the layer 1. Now on layer 1 right click and go alpha selection. Then select this rectangle select tool and on mode select the last one. Intersect with the current selection. Now make a box 
as big as you'd like. I'm going to make mine this big and make a new layer. Now once you've done that you need to make a new colour. Now my main colour is grey as you can see here so I'm going to do a light grey for this to make it look like it's reflecting. It adds a cool shine effect to it. So I'm going to go to select shrink by 2 then on the blend tool use the grey that you've just made to give it a shine effect. Now select a none. As you can see it has a cool shine to it. Now what you want to do is merge down again then duplicate the layer you've made then go to the flip tool and make sure it's on horizontal and click on it. Now zoom out and you've a cool design layout. Now you may have some problems here and there so I will um, just fix this up for you. As you can see in the middle there's kind of um, a space. So what you want to do is make a new layer above the two layers you've just made. Get the rectangle select tool on the mode select the first one then just make a little box here. Now fill it in with the grey you've used the whole time. Oops. Yeah, that's better. Now select a none. Now what you want to do is um, tone down the opacity of this and move it to the left. Now once you've done that as a cool kind of like a speed like stripe going down the middle which kind of looks cool. So um, there will be an annotation on the screen now to part 4 of this. So if this helped you, um, I know this was a long part in the series, but if this did help you, it wouldn't hurt if you just liked the video, maybe favorited it if you want to show your friends, or maybe you want to watch it again later and try this out again. And um, yeah, please subscribe, that's the main thing, that would really help me out. So thanks for watching, hope this helped. See ya.